So the 12 weeks of the anabolic diet series is now over, but what's next for me? Stay tuned. What's up guys? So I thought I would conclude the anabolic diet series with my final thoughts with a commentary video over some footage of my body's progress over the past 12 weeks. It's also going to give you guys a chance to see how much my body changed. Now then, for those who don't know what the anabolic diet is, it's a low carb, high fat type of diet that claims you can reach your goals in a faster amount of time without the degree of resulting muscle loss that is typically seen on other diet programs. Now the creator, Dr. Di Pasquale, says that by cycling your intake of fat, protein and carbs, you'll boost your body's levels of anabolic hormones such as testosterone and growth hormone while increasing its use of stored fat as energy. This means you can use the diet to bulk up by building lean muscle or to reduce body fat whilst maintaining existing muscle mass, depending on how much food you eat. It aims to be a safe and natural way of eating and building muscle instead of using drugs, with the creator even making the boisterous claims that it can induce safe steroid-like gains. I did the anabolic diet myself for 12 weeks in order to find out if the claims were true or false and to see what results you can truly expect from this diet. So here is my review. Now my goal on the diet was to maintain muscle and to lose body fat. Now then, going back to the claims that this diet will help achieve your goals in a faster amount of time without the degree of resulting muscle loss, I started the diet weighing in at 200 pounds and finished 12 weeks later at 193 pounds. I can honestly say that the weight I lost most definitely came from fat loss and I did maintain muscle mass. Hell, I believe I even gained muscle. So for this claim by Dr. Di Pasquale, I'm going to have to agree with him as it's worked extremely well for me. Can it work for you? Yes, it could definitely work for you and has for a lot of people. However, like any diet, the most important thing is to figure out if it's a manageable, sustainable diet for you, given your specific lifestyle and preferences. Now, the people who will do best on the anabolic diet are those who tolerate low-carbohydrate diets fairly well. A uh, few individuals simply do not feel good on them at all, and these are the people that should likely avoid this diet protocol. A good way to tell if you are one who does well with low-carb is how you generally feel after eating a carbohydrate-heavy meal, compared with how you feel after you've had a low-carbohydrate intake for a few days. If you feel energized after a large carb meal, then it's likely you're going to do well on a more carbohydrate-based diet. If, on the other hand, you find energy goes up when you're eating more fat-rich foods, this diet is likely the perfect option for you. Thankfully, I fell into this category. Now then, to the boisterous claims by Dr. D. Pasquale that everybody wants to know the answer to, can this diet give natural steroid like gains? The answer is no. Steroids will always have a stronger and faster effect on your body than food ever will. However, this is the diet that can produce the closest results to steroids due to its nature of keeping your body in an anabolic state. Now then guys, I've done all the best known diets. The clean eating bro science, doing two hours steady cardio, every day going to the gym only eating fish chicken almonds and rice on 1600 calories a day taking my body to a catabolic state and walking around like skeletal <laughs> i've done the ketogenic diet i've done if it fits your macros all of them and none have produced better results than what i have achieved on the anabolic diet which was fat loss and increased muscle mass isn't that what everybody wants? But is it for everyone? You will never know until you try it yourself. There is no use trying to force yourself on a diet that you know feels like it's working against you because chances are you will likely just give up and resort back to your old eating habits. In my opinion, once you start on this diet, you really do enjoy how you feel and that feel will make you want to carry on on a similar approach 
even after you have met your goals. Which leads me to... What's up guys? So, just before I tell you where this channel is going to head, um, I just want to say a huge thank you to everybody who followed me on the Anabolic Diet series over the past 12 weeks. I really enjoyed creating the content for you guys and without you guys watching, I don't think I would have been so motivated to do it. So thank you very much and I hope you'll carry on watching my videos. Now then, what am I going to do next? I think it's time to take it to the next level. Now, if you think that the results I got in the past 12 weeks were good, you'll be amazed at what's going to happen in the upcoming months. I've decided to prepare myself for a competition and that's what the next series will be about. I'm going to do it a lot more strict. I'm still going to do the anabolic diet but it'll be a lot stricter. The past 12 weeks I've done it, it was a very relaxed 12 weeks and I wanted to do it that way just to show that anybody can do it. It wasn't strict at all. Like on the weekends I ate wherever, whatever I wanted. I my calories, I didn't keep to my calories on the weekends. I was around the calories that I wanted, but I wasn't very strict on it. This this time, I'm going really strict, guys, and I'm going to prep for a competition, and I'm going to record all of it. I'm going. This will be the next series. It'll be the journey to the stage, and that's what it's going to be called as well, the journey to the stage series. So I hope to get you involved. I hope to have you guys supporting me all the way. Um, I'm not sure when I'll, the competition is going to be. It will be this year, but I'll just do it when I'm ready. So it'll just be the anabolic diet. I'll still be doing the anabolic diet just at more strict pace. So you guys can truly see what this diet is capable of. Um, and along the series, I will be announcing a lot of things. I've been doing a lot of work behind the scenes that you haven't seen, which are really exciting. So along the series, I will be announcing them. So I hope to have you with me, guys. Join me in the next series, which will be the journey to the stage. And that's what will be the next video, the journey to the stage episode one. Hope to see you there. Sean Monty, checking out.